Hey everybody, we're going to get started here uh, learning how to get an SVG file into Corel and editing it so that we can put it on the vinyl cutter. So one of the first things I want to talk about is the different types of cutting that you might be doing on some of the things in the lab. So the top example here is a, a model of actually cutting through a material. So you get two different outputs here. So you have, in this case, just the letters, or you have the actual block that the letters were cut out of. And they both have a purpose, and they both can be used in the lab. Then when we start to do things with the laser, uh, you can do a raster etching, which essentially is the letters plus all the stuff in the middle. And then you can do vector etching, which is just cutting out the very outside portion. So what we're going to be doing is a vector cut on our vinyl. And what that allows us to do is essentially set a set of send a set of directions to the vinyl cutter and tell it where to cut out an edge. So we're going to be cutting out a vector edge, but because vinyl is so thin, you're not going to actually etch through it. You're going to literally cut all the way through the vinyl uh, to the backing paper that's on the vinyl. So here I've opened up a new Corel file. And just for an example, something that you can cut out with a vinyl cutter, I'm going to add some text here. So click on the text button, drag a box, uh, type in whatever you want in there, change the size, pick the font, do all that stuff, um, whatever fits your application. And then anytime you need to select something in Corel, you're going to click back on that pointer in the top left corner. Uh, so I just need to make my box a little bit bigger there. Okay, so I just searched an image here that I'm going to add in. Uh, I kind of like the idea of the spaceman. And when you search something on Google that you might want to put in a vinyl, it helps if you put vector in front of it. Because usually what it does is it gives you of a black and white image to start with. Okay, so that black and white image will make processing through the Corel program a lot easier. So I'm going I'm to select this picture here. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to save it to my computer. Okay, or I can just right click and copy it. And then I can paste it into Corel. Either way works, but I like the copy paste option. So you just right click, paste, and then the image goes in there. You need to resize it so that it fits the size of the vinyl that you're trying to cut. Okay, so now I have all this stuff in here. I need to get it ready for the vinyl cutter to work on. So I don't really want this vector stock piece that came in with my picture. So I'm going to crop that out because that would be pretty difficult for the vinyl cutter to, to cut into. So if you go to the crop selection, and the nice part about this pop-up window is whatever you do in the pop-up window changes in your original Corel file immediately. So I'm just going to crop this out, get rid of some of that stuff we don't want. And then you just finish your edit, close that out. Okay, so now you can see I don't have that uh, little thing hanging out on the bottom there. So now what I need to do is get this ready for the vinyl cutter itself. So the vinyl cutter has a very fine bladed knife in it, and we need to tell that knife where we want it to go. So I'm going to select my text, 
I'm going to go down here, bottom right corner, and I need to change the characteristics of this text. So we're going to click on this tool. We're going to change the width of this line, so the edge around the outside of the text, to a hairline. And that allows us to essentially dictate where the cut head is going to travel on your vinyl. Okay, so you can just change that, hit OK. And then you need to change the color or the fill inside of your text. So on the right hand color bar there, you can click on your text and then select the box with the red line through it, and that takes away all of the fill. So you can see I'm left with literally this little wire frame that goes around my text. So text is pretty easy to manipulate. Next thing we're going to do is get a wire frame on our little astronaut photo here. So we're going to change the characteristics of this image. And essentially, we are drawing lines around all of the contrasting areas in this picture. So you can see how the original looks different. And we can just cancel that out and delete that original. And you can see that these that the Corel program outlines where everything's going to cut. Okay, so then the same process here, we're going to change all that outline to a hairline with a black color get rid of the fill color. Now you can see that there's this thin black line where the vinyl uh, knife is going to cut. Okay, so it's going to cut out all of those shapes. So then from here, we need to save this in a file type that vinyl cutter can understand. So to do that, you're going to go up to the file drop down. You're going to select export. Okay, you're going to save your drawing here as an SVG file. Okay, so scalable vector graphics. That's the the language that the vinyl cutter speaks in. So we have to save it as that file type. And then you hit save after you name it. And, and all of this stuff is pretty much default, so you don't have to change it. And then you just hit OK. And then that file is what we will upload to the vinyl cutter to cut out your shape.